Hey, batter, 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 swing, batter, swing in the isotopes. Oh, actually, he caught the ball there. He got him out. Hey, it's Knights Hope is getting ready to take on Memphis Redbirds at Isotopes Park. Here to fill us in on everything coming up, not just for tonight, but for the rest of the season. Just nine home games left. The GM, John Traub, and Orbit. Welcome back, you two. It's good to see you. Thanks, Matt. Good to see you. Uh, you know, I still I think we're all in shock this morning when we're all talking about this. Nine games left. Nine games. The world happened this summer. Uh, it has gone by so quickly. This has probably been the fastest season that I can remember. But in that highlight that you just showed, the first one where the right fielder caught the ball, yeah. made the double play it's at first base, Jock Peterson, he is the reason to come out and watch our final nine games. This kid is a top-notch prospect. He's on the verge of becoming the first player in Pacific Coast League since 1934 to hit 30 home runs and steal 30 bases in the same season. No kidding. Such a rare feat. This kid is going to be in the outfield for the Dodgers in a very, very near future, and he's he is certainly worth the price of admission. Okay, go see him now because next year he may not be playing with you all. That's he correct. May be I, called I, up. You're exactly right. And and you know we always talk about fireworks and orbit and mm -hmm. hot dogs and the great time at the ballpark, but every once in a while a, a gem like this comes through, and and you can say I saw him when. And, you know, we certainly expect that Jock Peterson is going to be in the major leagues making a major impact for a while. I want to ask you just real quick about another guy who's definitely going to the majors. He's in the news this year, uh, Michael Guerrero. Uh, Al Alex Guerrero. Alex Guerrero, excuse me. Uh, had his ear bitten off. There, there was some drama with that. How is he doing? Because this guy is one of the best prospects in Major League Baseball. He's a player from Cuba. And um, what is he, a $26, $28 million contract they signed him to the Dodgers? Yeah, they did. He's first year playing in the, in the States. Uh, it, obviously, that incident happened back in May. He's now back with the team. He's been back with us for about two or three weeks, playing very, very well. Okay. Um, he's he's good. He's healthy. He's uh, they were able to save the year. He's doing just fine, and uh, certainly expect him to be one of those Im impact players in yeah. the major leagues as well. Yeah, and you know uh, the, the Topes had up and down seasons over the years, but really you have done a great job. The Dodgers are having one of their best years in recent memory. Right. And a lot of that is thanks to the guys that you have brought up through this program. Well, the first one that comes to mind is D. Gordon, who uh, you know toiled here back and forth between L.A. and Albuquerque for about four years or so, and he has finally stuck as not only their everyday second baseman, but was a National League All-Star this year. And, uh, you know, when he goes into spring training, not even mm -hmm. know if he was going to have a job. And he has been he has been the key and the catalyst for that for that lineup. And he's just had a tr tremendous year. But throughout that lineup, I think more than half of the players on the Dodgers roster right now played in Albuquerque at one point or another. And, yeah. and Alex uh, uh, Guerrero is one who could be there in the future. Jock Peterson. Mm -hmm. We have a number of guys who, who you know, that's what our job is, is yep. to get guys to the big leagues. And, right. and so it's, it's great to have that kind of impact. Yeah, when the Dodgers have a good year, you know you did your job well. Let's talk about, besides the players on the field, one of the great things about the Topes, so family friendly, you have, what's tonight? Tonight, tonight is fireworks. wing night, right? T tonight is our fireworks night. It's tonight, one fireworks, of our, wings. we have four fireworks shows remaining yep. on the year. And tonight is one at 7.05. Tomorrow night is another one, 7:05, and then at the end of August, August uh, or August 29th and 31st are our last two fireworks shows of the season. But like you said, we only have nine home games left. I cannot believe it. Okay, Monday you have these things, the sunglasses. You can go ahead Thank and sport you. those. They look better on you. Oh, they do. Thank you. All right, these are uh, first what 3,000 fans. First 3,000 fans, courtesy of Albuquerque the magazine. Um, gates open at uh, at 5 at. What time's our game tomorrow night? 6.35. 7.05. 5. Uh, gates open like at 6. Yeah. Or Sunday afternoon, I'm sorry. 1.35 game, 12.30 gates. First 3,000 fans get a pair of sunglasses. And it's going to be great weather, so perfect day to oh give away goodness. sunglasses. Yeah, that's Sunday. Monday, there we go. Monday's 50 cent hot dog night. And then also Sunday, uh, need I digress, you love the hot dogs, 50 cents. Six per order. Orbit, six per order. Uh, yoga, Sunday. Go out and do yoga. Absolutely. With the guy. Sunday morning, 10:30. People can come out, bring your own yoga mat. Actually, have yoga on the field. We did it earlier this season, mm -hmm. and it was terrific. People had a great time doing it. Um, so you can go onto our website and get more information on that as well. And it's free. It is free. Yes. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. And stick around, get a ticket to the game. Heads up, no sunscreen on the field. No sunscreen on the field. Yes, we've got to protect. Is that a slippage issue? You know what? That's a grass staying alive issue. Oh, sunscreen really? okay. on grass. The chemicals? Yeah. It, that's not a good mix. Okay. So very good. Sunscreen on the warning track is fine. Sunscreen on the grass, not okay. so good. That's good. John Traub, it's good to see you, buddy. Thanks, Thanks Matt. Great for coming to see in. You. Thank you for a great season. And hey, the, the the new screen, biggest in minor league baseball, it rocks. You love it. If you haven't seen it, nine home games left. Great to see you guys. Thank you.